Hello everyone. Yet another video on Power Automate, a very interesting one. In this video, I am going to tell you that how you can create a SharePoint group and ensure the user and then add the user using Power Automate. So in this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a SharePoint group in a SharePoint online site and then you can immediately add a user to that newly created SharePoint group. So basically in this video, we will create an instant flow and in that flow, I will be adding majorly three actions, although there will be more actions with respect to creating a variable and other things. But primarily our focus of this video is to create a SharePoint group, ensure an existing Active Directory user to the SharePoint site and then add the user to the newly created SharePoint group. So this is a very common scenario where uh, automatically at the background, you might want to create a new SharePoint group in a SharePoint online site and you want to add one particular user or multiple users to that newly created group. So I am in Power Automate screen, the flow I have already created. What I'm doing here is I have created an instant flow. The first step is manually trigger a flow and then after that I am just initializing a variable where I am just specifying the group name. So the group name which will be created in the SharePoint online site with the name test group 06. This is just a variable which I have created and this is the first SharePoint request, maybe a post request I will say by using an action. I am using action send an HTTP request to SharePoint. So when you click on add an action, you will find this action send an HTTP request to SharePoint. Here I am using a REST API call. This is my SharePoint online site slash site slash POC site. This is the SharePoint online site. I am using the post method and the REST API URL or URI. I am using underscore API slash web slash site groups. Since we are using the method post, I have to send the body as well. But before that, I am also sending the headers content type application JSON or data equal to verbose. And in the body, I am just sending the metadata of type SP group, title of the group and the description of the group. Please remember this is a post request to the SharePoint online site to create the SharePoint group. This is the most important, the first call to SharePoint via post method to create the SharePoint group. And you can see this is the variable which we have already created earlier. This is the variable where SP group name. This is the variable name which I'm passing in the body. Once the group will be created, I am just getting the ID of that group in a variable. Uh, I have again created a variable SP group created ID. And then I am initializing another variable for the email address of the member which needs to be ensured and then needs to be added within the SharePoint newly created group. So for that, I am again using a call, a REST call with a POST method to ensure that the user is part of this Azure Active Directory. It's a it's Azure Active Directory user and part of SharePoint Online. So again, for that, I'm using a API underscore API slash web slash ensure user on the sh same SharePoint Online site. Again, this is a POST method. So we have to pass the body. I am passing the property logon name the uh, variable which I have created earlier with the email address of the user to be added. So we, till here we have completed two steps, the two main steps of this video. First is to create the group which we saw in this uh, action which is create new group action. And then we also saw another important aspect of this video to ensure the user. Now the last part of this video that the user is ensured now, the group is created and then we want to add this user to the newly created group. So what we can do is again, we can make a post call post method. We can use the post method. We can use the URI underscore API slash web slash site groups slash get by ID slash users. So this is very important uh, API. You should remember it. You should understand it, what it is doing. I am passing the uh, vari variable, which is the ID of the group. The group is already created. I'm passing the ID of the group, passing the header since it's a post method. Again, we have to pass the body. So metadata type SP user and which user we want to add, which we are passing here. So, uh, I mean, in the flow, these are the main steps. Now what we can do, we can quickly uh, test this flow by manually triggering it. So I'm just clicking on test 
and what I am going to do is I am going to test it manually. I will click on test. The flow will run and it will allow me to test the flow and see if the uh, group, SharePoint group has already been created. So the flow has run. Let's click on done and then the flow will run. Flow should run successfully. You can see the message at the top that the flow has ran successfully. Now how to test it? Please remember the group name which we provided. What was the group name which we provided? The group name which we provided was test group 06. So let's navigate to the SharePoint online site and let's see the output. This is the same SharePoint online site I am in, which is a SharePoint online site slash site slash POC site. Let me refresh it because we have created a group now, which is uh, with the name test group 06. And here we have also added a user. So let's see the output. Let me navigate. Let me see if the group has created. You can see here the group has been created. Test group 06. So this is the output of our flow. The flow ran successfully. And let's see if the user has been added in the group. You can see the user has also been added in the group via our Power Automate flow. So that's all in this video. In this video, I showcased you that how you can create a SharePoint group in a SharePoint online site, how you can ensure the user and how you can add that user in the newly created group. That's all for this video. Keep watching. Thank you.